Hey everyone, Brian Balon here with the Balon Group, Keller Williams Northeast Realty. I'm here with the Petty Breakers, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Danny, Ozzy, John, Dave. And we're just going to have a uh, conversation and kind of get to know them a little bit, a little bit about their story, about their passion, about what they do. So thanks so much for being here with me in this interview. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Right on. So first question is, so how did the Petty Breakers start? Uh, primarily for uh, love and deep passion for the music. Um, but uh, yeah, about nine years ago, um, we looked around uh, for uh, Tom Petty tributes on the internet. And uh, at the time, there weren't all that many uh, available, or especially good ones, that we, in our opinion. So um, we thought that there might be a need. And um, I'd known John for, I've known for over 20 years. We'd, played in different projects together and uh, kicked around and uh, my first call was to him to see if he was available to do the lead guitar work and uh, fortunately he was and uh, from there we just kind of pieced it together. Uh, we went through a couple keyboard players, a couple drummers um, and um, eventually you know, found our, uh, our Ben Montench and Dave who uh, brought a very impressive resume. He's recorded and toured with Sid Blossom's Rembrandt's among others and he and Danny work together uh, in Vegas and Reno and other parts of the world, London. And, um, and um, as far as drummers go, we did have sort of our spinal tap moment where it was kind of like a revolving door, but uh, um, we've been very fortunate every time we, we, we managed to, to attract you know, top notch talent. Our current drummer is, uh, um, has a pretty impressive track record as well. He's toured with Leonard Cohen, the Bodines, and among others. So um, it, it, it's a it's a world class band of musicians. I'm very proud to, to be associated with. It's awesome. So since the guys got together, what has been the journey since? Uh, it's been an interesting road. I mean, I think our first year we might have done a total of 30 shows, mostly local and regional. Um, I think at the moment we're doing maybe about 100, 120 shows a year national. And uh, there's a rumor about some possible international uh, dates coming up later this year. And fingers crossed, we'll see if we can get to that point. That'd be nice. Awesome. Just a little touch. Right on. Cool. And. Um, <clears throat> What is, uh, could you speak a little bit to the, the passion and the vision of the Petty Breakers? Um, I was hooked since I first heard Breakdown on the radio driving through LA. Um, and uh, when I started digging a little deeper into the first two records, I think at that time, um, I just kept finding one gem after another. And as he's proven over the last 40 years, I mean, his catalog is just impressive. Uh, the guy had a way of expressing himself lyrically and, and, and creating just great melodies. Uh, Jackson Brown recently said, you know, that he was pissed off at Tom Petty because he would say in two lines what would take Jackson Brown, you know, like a whole song mm -hmm. uh, to communicate. So, I mean, obviously Tom Petty had magic. I don't know what, how else to describe it. Um, but um, especially now that, that, you know, the world lost him at such a young age, you know, um, I think people uh, appreciate even more than before um, if they can still go <clears throat> to a venue and enjoy you know the, the same feelings they might have had 30 40 20 years ago whenever they discovered them you know mm -hmm. so uh, we're happy that we're able to do that and as long as we're blessed with the ability to do it we're going to keep plowing through and do it right on so can you share maybe one or two funny stories or memorable moments in the band <laughs> hey, I just woke up. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Yeah. Uh, what are two funny stories? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Be funny, <laughs> it's, funny. Oh, it's funny. Some of the band rides are uh, are a little interesting, and uh, I don't want to take. If you're going to ask Dave this story, do, do you want to talk, tell the band story about the parking? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, I know. I think you, we need to know that. Story. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's kind of the way. That's the way. Which ones can I tell? Which ones can I tell? Okay, you gotta tell it. You tell it. We, we were in we were in Illinois, somewhere mm -hmm. in Illinois, uh, and uh, we we did. Is this right after the rain, the big rainstorm? Yeah, the one. Okay, yeah, we did the, we did the. Uh, this could take a long time. You got time? <laughs> <laughs> 
So we do this, we do, uh, we're playing out an outdoor concert in uh, Naperville, I think it was. And, and then uh, the first day, they cut the first band short because uh, they, a storm was coming in. And then they had, uh, so they cut them short so we can get up there and play a little bit. So we get into like four or five songs and then and they're cutting this. And these guys had this timed out mm -hmm. really good. You know, we they cut us off, uh, we did like four or five songs. Loaded everything up, threw it in the van, we shut the van door and it starts pouring rain. So we go out to Naperville at this a local establishment. It was a pub, I do believe. <laughs> and, and, uh, so we go to this pub, and we and people, a lot of people went to this pub after and did saw us, and, and so it turned into, hey guys, here, 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 and I have another, you know. So now we're we're all, you know. So we're we finally leave. The guy sat in, and we sat in with the band that was there, and then so we so we go, we get something to eat, and we get back to the hotel, and. <laughs> Dave's driving the van. Throw <laughs> <laughs> Davey under the bus. <laughs> he, he didn't drink. No, he was the guy to drive. So he was still he, Anyway, so we get back to the place we parked the van and we get going. We wake up the next day to come out to go to the next gig. And we look and the van is like oh, crooked, like parked. It's like. <laughs> That was, that was it. We took pictures. Don't know how that happened. It's just one of those slow driving things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. What are you going to do? And then there was a time, no. Right. Stop. If you want. Stop. Stop. Right. And, uh, I was going to say, tell them uh, the Washington, because the same thing happened in Washington, right? Oh, uh, actually, yeah. The yeah. Rain seems to follow us. We, uh, yeah. This year, we um, uh, were. Uh, uh, selected to play the um, uh, not the World Series, but the All Star uh, pregame celebration in Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they treated us very well. They had this beautiful, nice little trailer for us and uh, huge tent. It was in the naval yard. Um, and at one point, the skies just open up, buckets of rain just pouring down. Uh, we thought the event was going to be canceled, but the tent flooded. But um, they just sat everybody with squeegees and just kind of, you know, getting the water out. We got soaked walking from the trailer to the tent. But um, anyway, um, we were uh, able to at least... No, we, played, I, we played about 20 minutes. That's right, too. That we were scheduled yeah. to play 50 and it got cut short. Well, now you guys are going to do 30 minutes. Okay, well, now you guys are going to do 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I think um, we figured it was our most... Dollar per, per minute. minute, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, so there's just, I mean, I'm sure there's countless stories and memories, yeah, you guys hold near and dear to your hearts, yeah. yeah. You, you know, the cool thing is that as a band, we all get along really well, we're mm -hmm. all really good friends, and so it makes it fun to be on the road. We don't have guys that are, yeah, at each other's throats. I mean, out of the night, we don't have substance issues, we don't have. Reliability issues, you know, emotional baggage, you know, any of that stuff. I mean, it's 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 amazing. Other than the drum chair, you know, well, Dave's that's... been with us since uh, you know, like uh, the first year. I, after six months, seven months, we got started. I think Dave joined. We throw him into the deep end. A real nice outdoor festival gig at uh, Palo Casino. He'd only rehearsed with us like maybe twice. Yeah. <laughs> and we said, here, Dave, let's go, Dave. <laughs> and he did a great job. And, and Danny, a short time after. So we've been, I mean, this, this lineup right here has been together for most of those nine years. So, uh, yeah. you know, we, we do feel the camaraderie, um, brother-like yeah. kind of relation that we have. And that's so important in the journey, to yeah. be connected that way. Yeah, yeah. And when you're stuck in a van for six hours. <laughs> yeah. right. It's nice to look around and see your friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Well, great. I appreciate so much sharing your stories, sharing your, your journeys. And um, if people wanted to check out a show, you know, where you guys are touring, how would they be able to find it? Pettybreakers.com. That's uh, the easiest way. Follow us on Facebook as well. Facebook.com uh, slash The Petty Breakers. Um, our schedule is posted on our website on Facebook. Um, and um, we keep adding every day. So if you don't see what you like one particular day, check back in a week. There's a good chance we have another couple of days added to it. So awesome. We do hope to be back in the Phoenix area again soon. So come out and see us again. Yeah. If you didn't see us this time, come out. <laughs> And see us the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Guys, thanks so much for having this interview with me. Thank you, Brian. Thanks. And uh, we'll see you guys next video.